Hi there, good evening. Um, my name is Clarissa Rowe, Precinct 4. I'm at the moment the Acting Chair of the Community Preservation Act Committee. Um, I'm here tonight to um, ask for your positive vote on the, on the projects that we will be showing you. Um, I've asked Eric to please present the projects because he has been the chair of the committee for a number of years. And um, then we will um, both take questions at the end if you have questions. Um, I'd also like to mention that we need three new members for the committee. And we would love to have people that are interested in um, preservation, affordable housing and open space and recreation join us. Um, you don't have to have any particular expertise, but we would love your help. And now to Eric. Thanks, Clarissa. We'll move through these 10 recommended projects very quickly tonight, but you can consult the Community Preservation Act Committee report for more details on the recommended projects and budget or ask us questions at the end. Let's start with the housing area of CPA beginning with $100,000 recommended funding for the Housing Corporation of Arlington's Homelessness Prevention Program. This provides short-term assistance to income eligible Arlington residents experiencing a temporary housing crisis. Due to the pandemic and associated job losses, the demand and need for this program has tripled over the last year. And so this funding will help uh, restore the fund and allow HCA to serve the needs of these residents over the coming year. Also in housing, the Arlington Housing Authority uh, has requested some funds as part of a larger project to repair and restore the exterior of the nine Drake Village cottages. CPA funds will replace all the common area external entry doors in each building, which have reached the end of their life. Also in housing, uh, there's some funding to assist the Somerville Homeless Coalition, which does a lot of work in Arlington. This leasing differential helps the coalition, which is a nonprofit, make up the difference between the market rate rents and the federal subsidies that they use to house over 46 people through our Arlington who are formerly homeless or disabled. This uh, will allow them to continue doing this over the coming year and also support the Arlington landlords who have been renting these units a long for a long time to the uh, nonprofit. Moving to the open space and recreation area, we have $40,000 for the North Beach ramp at Spy Pond Park that will allow the completion of an earlier CPA funded project. Uh, this was an uh, additional uh, option to the project that couldn't be done because of cost constraints, but it will allow this area to be paved with porous pavement and for the whole area to, be, uh, to look uh, finished. Also in recreation, we have a long delayed major renovation of Herd Field. In addition to a badly needed restoration of the playing field, we have, there are a number of safety issues, ADA access and other uh, needs. This will be phase one of the project that will address the most urgent needs and will entertain phase two funding next year to get this done. But the work would be planned in 2021 and construction would start in 2022. Also in open space and recreation, we have $491,000 for Spy Pond Playground. The equipment here um, has long past the end of its, reached the end of its life um, and is in need of replacement. The playground is very heavily used and popular with young children and we look forward to enabling that uh, update. $30,000 would go to the Department of Planning and Community Development to produce a public land management plan. This would produce much better coordinated uh, town maintenance policies and plans for town owned historic natural spaces and outdoor recreation sites throughout Arlington. We have two historic preservation projects. Both of these have received CPA funding in the past for preservation and both of these nonprofits have done excellent work. The old Schwamm Mill would like to uh, do some envelope res uh, restoration on windows and other work on one of the historic outbuildings on the property and do a structural engineering report for the entire complex. The Jason Russell House uh, this year would like to in install a geothermal climate control system for heating and cooling. There's, there's nothing in the house there and that uh, means that they can't operate all year round. This 
installation will allow the historical society to operate the Jason Russell House and, and have it open to the public throughout the year and also to display um, some wonderful artifacts that are too sensitive to be displayed in public right now will also do wonders for the long-term preservation of the house. And finally, we have a study uh, proposed by Alan Tosti to, to do a lot more with the Foot of the Rocks Memorial that is there along Mass Ave. It, it marks the beginning of the, the Bloody Mile, the day of the beginning of the American Revolution in 1775 that started there and in, in the fighting stretched from here all the way to the Jason Russell House. Um, and Alan has some, some great ideas for how we can do more and, and make this a better tourist uh, destination. Once again, please refer to your CPA committee report for details on the budget and the recommended votes uh, that before you tonight, and we welcome your questions and comments. Thank you.